Thumbelina. A long time ago and far, far away, an old woman was sitting in her rocking chair, thinking how happy she would be if she had a child. Then she heard a knock at the door and opened it. A lady was standing there and she said, If you let me in, I will grant you a wish. The old woman let the woman in firstly because she felt pity. Secondly, because she knew what she'd wished for, a child. After she washed the lady up and fed her, she saw that she was very beautiful. The lady slept soundly all night long, and then right before she left, she said, Now talk about your witch. What do you want? The lady thought about most people's witches to be richest in the world, most powerful persons the smartest and the prettiest, but the old woman wished for something the lady could not believe. She said, I would like a child. What did you say? She asked because she was astonished at what the old lady asked for. The old lady repeated what she said. I would like a child. The lady then pressed a tiny seed in the old woman's hand and gave her instructions. Plant the seed, water it carefully, wash over it, and give it your love. If you do all those things, then you will have a child. So the old woman did all of the things the lady had told her too. In a week, there was a beautiful yellow flower in press of the seed. The next day, the flower bloomed. Inside the flower was a beautiful little goat who was the size of the woman's thumbs, so she called her Thumbelina. She made her little dress out of golden threads. Thumbelina slept in a walnut chair and brought the old woman joy and happiness. But one day when Thumbelina went down for her nap, a frog hopped through the open window and said, you will be a perfect bride for my son. And she took Dumberina to a lily pad and half off to find her son. Dumberina cries, and some little guppies hurt her and chewed the roots off the lily pad to help her escape. Dumberina's lily pad floated away. A few hours later, she finally stopped floating. During the summer, she ate berries and drank the dew of the leaves. But then winter came and she needed shelter. A kindly mouse let her stay with it, but it said, You have to marry my friend, Mold, because he cannot give you for another winter. The next day she went to see Mold in one of tunnels. She found a sick bird and said, Poor thing, I will bury it. Then she found out that it was still alive and she cared for it until it was ready to fry. It flew off. That fall, she nearly had to marry Mo, but then she heard a familiar tweet and an idea popped up in Bert's head. You can come down to the warm country, said the bird. So Tamburina hopped on the bird's back and flew to the warm country. The people there who were like her renamed her Erin. She married a prince and she lived happily ever after. The end.